While Friday often means payday, it means nothing to the hundreds of thousands of federal workers impacted by the partial government shutdown. It's the first time during the 21-day budget standoff that workers miss the paycheck, leaving many wondering how they will make ends meet. How do I not spend anything for weeks at a time because every day I don't know when the shutdown is going to end. Matthew Crichton was one of the hundreds of federal workers who rallied in Washington Thursday demanding an end to the shutdown and turning up the heat on Democrats and President Trump to end their bitter standoff over his $5 billion demand for a border wall. Some 800,000 federal employees, from TSA screeners to FBI agents, are either furloughed or working without pay. A reality that's led to an increase of TSA screeners at Miami International Airport calling in sick, prompting officials to make the decision to close a terminal early for the next few days. And while there's still no end in sight, some are striking back. The union representing air traffic controllers sued the Trump administration for forcing them to work without pay. On Thursday, Trump seemed to confirm that if the talks fail, he would declare a national emergency to get funding for the wall, redirecting money from the Pentagon. I'm not prepared to do that yet, but if I have to, I will. Democrats in control of the House of Representatives have refused to fund the wall, calling it a waste of federal money. They're instead passing bills to immediately open the government, bills that Senate leader Mitch McConnell is refusing to consider without Trump's consent. It's a fact. Physical barriers are effective. If the stalemate is not resolved by Saturday, it will be the longest government shutdown in the nation's history.